Hello everyone. I hope you all are doing well. In my previous video, I discussed the alteration of name clause and registered office clause. In this video, I will talk about the procedure of alteration of object clause, liability clause and capital clause. Let us discuss this one by one. Alteration of object clause. The object clause is the most important clause of the memorandum of association. The legal provisions regarding the alteration of object clause are given in section 13 of the Companies Act 2013. There are two procedure. Procedure in general and procedure where company has unutilized money raised for its object through prospectus. Let us discuss the first one, that is procedure in general. The general procedure is that the company can change the object clause of its memorandum by passing a special resolution to that effect. Now we come to the second procedure. Procedure where company has unutilized money raised for its object through prospectus. So a company which has raised money from public through prospectus for its object and still has unutilized money cannot change its object unless a special resolution is passed by the company and the company shall publish an advertisement giving details and justification for change in the object of the company in two newspapers, one in English and one in the local language. Uh, the promoters and shareholders having control over the company shall give an opportunity to the dissenting shareholders to exit. It means the shareholders who are not satisfied with the alteration of the object of the company, the company may give them an opportunity to exit. After this, the company shall file the copy of the special resolution and other important documents regarding the alteration with the registrar. On receipt of the above documents, the registrar shall register and certify the alteration of the object clause of the memorandum of association of the company. Now we move on to the next alteration, alteration of liability clause. Generally, the company cannot alter its liability clause of its memorandum of association. Such an alteration would be void in law. But if a company wants to convert itself from unlimited liability company to limited liability, then it shall pass a special resolution and make an application to the registrar. If the registrar is satisfied, he will close the former registration and issue a certificate of incorporation as if it were the first registration. Next alteration is alteration of capital clause. A limited company having share capital may alter its capital clause of its memorandum of association by adopting the provisions prescribed in the Companies Act if uh, authorized by the Articles of Association. Certain alteration in the capital clause may be made by passing an ordinary resolution in its general meeting and certain alteration in the capital clause may be made by passing a special resolution. The alteration which is made by passing an ordinary resolution in the general meeting of the company are increase of share capital by issue of new shares, consolidation 
or subdivision of existing shares into shares of larger or smaller amount conversion of fully paid shares into stock and conversion of stock into fully paid shares cancellation of unissued shares let me explain these points to you one by one increase of share capital by issue of new shares a company limited by shares may increase its share capital by issuing new shares generally the companies do not issue the whole of its authorized capital at once only a portion of it is offered to the public and the further shares are offered as and when the amount is required so company may issue new shares in accordance with the provisions of the companies act 2013 the provision is given in section 62 of the companies act 2013 so the offer of new shares can be made by the company to its uh, existing shareholders to employees of the company or to any person on preferential basis next point is consolidation or subdivision of existing shares into shares of larger or smaller amount consolidate means to join or combine so a company may consolidate 1000 shares of rupees 10 each into 500 shares of rupees 20 each the total amount of shares that is rupees 10000 remains the same similarly a company may subdivide 1000 shares of rupees 10 each into 2000 shares of rupees 5 each but uh, where uh, such consolidation or division of share capital results in change in the voting percentage of shareholders then it can be done only with the prior approval of the tribunal next point is conversion of fully paid shares into stock and conversion of stock into fully paid shares it means a company may convert all or any of its fully paid shares into stock or reconvert the stock into fully paid shares of any denomination let us move to the next point that is cancellation of unissued shares a company may cancel those shares which have not been taken up by any person and thereby diminish the amount of its shares accordingly such cancellation of shares does not mean reduction of capital as because only such shares are cancelled which were not taken by any person these are some examples of alteration of capital clause by the company by passing ordinary resolution uh if a company want to bring any alteration in capital by way of reduction of share capital it can be made only by passing a special resolution and obtaining the confirmation from the tribunal let me explain this point with an example a company has issued 1000 shares of rupees 100 each and rupees 80 are paid on each share in this case the company may reduce the further liability of rupees 20 per share by reducing the share of rupees 100 to rupees 80 as fully paid shares in this way the company's capital will be reduced by rupees 20000 every company is required to file a notice of the alteration 
of capital clause to the registrar within 30 days of such alteration. The registrar shall record the notice. If any default is made in giving the notice of such alteration, the company and every officer of the company who is in default shall be punishable with fine which may extend to rupees 1000 for each day during which the default continues or rupees 5 lakh whichever is less so in this video i covered up the alteration of object clause liability clause and capital clause that's all for today thank you very much for listening and watching